No, no, one thing. Early October, Midnight Madness. You're the master of entrances at your Midnight Madness. What are you coming in as? Stephen St. John? You better get working on that beer. Radio guy with a beer. We're looking forward to it. Thanks so much, Coach. Coach Izzo mentioned a lot about this year's team, this year's program. Direct your attention to the video screen so you can learn a little more. A 5'10 freshman guard from Savannah, Georgia, number 32, Jordan Brown. A 6'6 freshman forward from Chicago, Illinois, number 30, Chandler Levingston. A 5'10 freshman guard from Fishers, Indiana, number 10, Jacoby Bledsoe. A 5'11 freshman guard from Kansas City, Missouri, number 12, Martez Harrison. A 6'10 freshman center from Harrisonville, Missouri, number 54, Isaac Kruer. A 6'8 freshman forward from Orlando, Florida, number 35, Juan Ramon Rivas. A 6'3 sophomore guard from Atlanta, Georgia, number 3, John Burke. A 6'1 sophomore guard from Shawnee, Kansas, number 4, Mason Wheel. A 6'4 senior forward from Kansas City, Kansas, number five, Reese Holiday. A 6'8 junior forward from Ottawa, Ontario, number 22, Shiok Shiok. A 6'6 junior guard from Kansas City, Missouri, number 13, Frank Williams Jr. A 6'9 senior center from Cleveland, Ohio, number 21, Fred Chapman. A 6'7 senior forward from Kansas City, Kansas, number 40, Trinity Hall. A 6'9 senior center from Sacramento, California, number 31, Caleb Johnson. A 6'3 senior guard from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, number one, Nelson Kirksey. A 6'7 senior forward from Pella, Iowa, number 44, Kirk Korber. A six foot senior guard from Kansas City, Kansas, number two, Aaron Washington. And the coaching staff, graduate assistant Spencer Johnson, director of basketball operations Connor Hampton, assistant coaches Jason Sauter, Sean Bledsoe, and the associate head coach A.T. Angris Thorpe. Let's give a round of applause for the University of Kansas. Now, before we uh, learn a little bit more about the new head coach, Kareem Richardson, uh, Coach Izzo, I'm glad you brought up the Kansas City Chiefs. So I want to tell a quick story about how Kareem has embraced this community and embraced Kansas City, and it's meant a lot to me. Uh, I've had the opportunity to get to know these coaches, and they're all great guys. And, and Kareem and Jason and Sean and A.T. said, you know, we want to experience Kansas City. We'd like to go to a Kansas City Chiefs game. So, well, of course, let's go. And so. We, we find a way to go all together to the Chiefs and Cowboys game. And then Kareem tells me, but I want to let you know I'm a Cowboys fan. Is that going to be all right? I said, I got your back, Kareem. I'll take care of you. Just, just you know, don't cheer too loud if something happens good for Dallas, but we'll get through. Step one, he shows up and he's got a red shirt on. And so he's making that first step towards being a real Kansas City. And so we get to the game and we're watching the game, and it's back and forth, and it's anyone's game. We're, we're there for a couple hours. Everyone's having a great time, except for Sean, who fell asleep midway through the third quarter. <laughs> Maybe not a big football fan, but I get it, Sean. You're a basketball guy. So we get to that fourth quarter. I don't know how many of you have seen the movie Rocky IV, when the Russian crowd starts to change, and they start to root for Rocky and chant Rocky. 
we get to the fourth quarter. Someone takes my cheese hat off my head. I'll be damned if Kareem didn't have a cheese hat on. Stopping his feet, clapping his hands with an arrowhead crowd. He'd embrace his community and he'd embrace the Kansas City Chiefs. So I want you to put your hands together for the biggest Kansas City Chiefs fan I know right now, Kareem Richardson. Let's play right What's up, Kansas City? I'm Brianna Garlington. I'm Charles Williams. And I'm Derek Parker. And we are CMG. CMG. And we would like to welcome you to follow both websites. That's what's up, .net and CascadeSports.tv. Some of our programs consist of Are You Awoke, Coach's Corner, and many more interviews, news, and blogs. Be sure to like our Facebook page and follow us on Instagram at Cascade Media Group and Twitter at What's Up KC and Cascade Sports. And remember, the victory we call success goes to the best prepared. And when you invest in your community, you are really just investing in yourself. So don't just like it, share it.